Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well, Juventus, it's the second video of the day, this morning I started to explain the Super League project, or at least how it was introduced again, trying to be as objective as possible, and trying also to imagine a possible way of playing that tournament, if you didn't watch it yet, and if you are interested, go back and watch it, now in that video we'll speak exclusively about Juventus because we have a game to prepare versus Fiorentina so maximum of like subscribe to the channel we start but before speaking about Federico Chiesa Kostic Di Maria and the way and if they can play all together I wanted to say thank you thank you to Ricardo president of JOFC the Juventus official fan club of Melbourne in Australia for that fantastic cap I will show you look at that with the logo of the club not only the cap a fantastic t-shirt that I will probably put on the next following days the cup is fantastic with Gigi Buffon because Gigi Buffon has been the one chosen to represent that club fantastic vintage magazine from 2006 I can't be more happy so really thank you thank you to GOFC Melbourne and all the ones that are watching the channel if you didn't yet let me know in the comment because I want to say thank you to all of you one by one but also hello to all the GOFC members from all around the world we start opening Tutto Sport with Formula Chiesa the formula to unlock Federico Chiesa because our boy our number seven is back more than 20 minutes more than 30 minutes more than one half and he showed it yesterday in that open training session where people were able to watch him he is informed he wants to play he wants to play and beat his ex-team on Sunday Fiorentina in our stadium he wants to go back in Serie A scoring his goal after more than one year Federico Chiesa will play this is a guarantee the problem is that we don't know how well unlocking Federico Chiesa Allegri is thinking about a 4-3-3 not only to unlock Federico Chiesa but also to play him with the most possible players the problem now is that we have a luxury problem we have it's strange to say but the luxury problem in the fact that we have a lot of offensive players that are back Chiesa Di Maria Kostic eventually also Quadrado Moiskin Vlaovic and the youngsters Ealing Jr and Sule a lot of possible options two or even three sometimes up front well if we want to play with that 4 3 3 already on Sunday versus Fiorentina, there are two men that are super key, maybe daring something totally different. What is the big gamble that could possibly happen is Filip Kostic as a left back. We know it when Max Allegri was thinking about Filip Kostic in his virtual Juve, so the Juve that was not possible to test because a lot of men were missing, like Di Maria and Chiesa, not even adding Paul Pogba, that unfortunately will probably not be there versus Fiorentina. We will have to wait a bit more. Well, guys, we are waiting since the beginning of the season. I will not start every single day or match day another drama about Pogba. Well, anyway, that virtual Juve is starting to be real, and now that we have all these men we have to find a solution and Max Allegri was already speaking about it eventually testing Kostic as a left back it was not a guarantee he needed to understand it he already tested him in a few parts of game not entire games not from the start but he already tested it not only in games but especially also in training session well if we want to make sure that all these players offensively are coexisting without creating problems he needs to play as a left back Will it already happen? Yes or no? Well, if we want to go back to four-man defense, Alexandro can't play as a left-back anymore. And Kostic, or even in the future, Anilin Jr. are the possible answers there on the left-back because we couldn't go on the market to fix our left and right back solutions. Filip Kostic is a player that you have to play. We were all doubting about his energy level in January that were really, really low. We were even thinking about him taking one, two, three games of rest to recuperate his energy. Suddenly, the last two games, assist and goals, the goals versus Salernitana is showing that mentally he's ready to do that extra mile, to be really fast, to think fast and to run towards that ball to score that momentarily 2-0. The goal is to unlock our number seven and to let him play with champions for example Di Maria Vlaovic on top of the attack let's see if it will happen or not one thing is sure Kostic not only seven goals sorry seven assists and two goals in Serie A but this time he's also entering the triple digit numbers in the top five leagues we're speaking about participation two goals with 37 goals and 63 assists not bad for the Serbian player not bad at all well how can we play four 3-3 is a possibility, the other possibility is a 
511 but doing so of course you will have to sacrifice or Chiesa or Di Maria and that's a problem so that 4 3 3 is a possibility but we have another problem of course if we have a luxury problem up front the problem is in the midfield because N Pogba is not ready to play versus Fiorentina even if he will be on the bench even if he will be on the bench not sure that we will see him playing or not even more than five or ten minutes the problem is that Miretti is injured for one uh, one month the problem is that Paredes is coming back from an injury also him is a bit out of that project of Juventus to remain and to finish the season. Rabiot is at risk. Yesterday he trained in the gym, he trained individually. I don't know what will be the, co the conditions of Rabiot. If Rabiot is not able to play, or at least not for 90 minutes, maybe the best solution would be a 4-2-3-1, as you can see here on the pictures with Decilio on the left, with Danilo on the right side, with Rugani and Bremer in the center of the defense, double pivot Fagioli and Locatelli. It's really strange because we were speaking two weeks ago about having too many options in the midfield. Now we have two. We have Locatelli, we have Fagioli. On top, Kostic. On the right side, Federico Chiesa, Di Maria in the middle and Dusan Vlaovic there. These are possibilities we will know more tomorrow after the press conference. Anyway, we are speaking about another player that is on all the front pages. We are speaking about Fratesi, Davide. That uh, I remember one year ago, I was already saying that I fell in love with that player after Sassuolo, Juve. Fantastic player. Gazzetta dello Sport is going with Italy Juve. It will be an Italy Juve. They already started next last week with Miretti, Fagioli, Locatelli. They were already starting speaking about it. On top of the possible returns of Rovella, Ranocchia and maybe even Hans Nicolussi, well, they are adding another Italian midfielder to the list and we are speaking about Fratesi. Fratesi, good player, absolutely a good player. Look at that, 23 years. He's really cheap, maximum 1 million of salary. He's a player that is really the definition of box-to-box, -box, playing on the right side of the field. He can go up and down, up and down, and I really like the player. Then, of course, if you are telling me, Beppe, what is the priority for next season, I would say go for fullbacks, left and right. This is what we need now. I want to read names of fullbacks, not names of midfielders. Anyway, the player would love and prefer to go to Roma. He played with them when he was at the youth academy. He was called up three times with the first team of Roma, never played a single minute. He probably, prob probably, maybe, he's a Roma fan, I don't know, anyway, he wanted and he would love to go there. He was that close to go to Roma in the summer, he didn't go there, Juventus is on the player. If there is no way to go to Roma, Juventus will be there and they will try. Between 25 and 30 million for Sassuolo, with a player that is coming to Juve, to reinforce that Italian midfield, that we lose Rabiot, that we lose Pare by the way, yesterday there was one of the agents of Paris Saint-Germain that was in that open training session to speak with the Argentinian guy after the training. Well, we will lose a lot of players in the in the summer. We didn't speak about it in this video, but Super League is on all the front pages. Everyone is speaking about Super League. Corriere dello Sport is putting it on the right side of the page. With Super League, the founders are trying again with a new formula. Tutto Sport that put it on their first page, are also dedicating a full page inside of the paper to explain what the new formula is, with some opinions and then some facts. Gazzetta dello Sport on their first page, well, they are not speaking about Super League. Maybe they don't know, maybe they were not aware of it, maybe it's something that they didn't see yesterday. Well, actually, no, it's not true, because they are speaking about it inside, on page 12, really on bottom. Guys, if you are a bit, if you have problems with your site, probably you will not have noticed it. Well, it's there, it's written below, really small, in a box looks like they are not really interested in or they don't want to take a decision to well what do you expect from someone that is a, or from a paper that is not able to translate correctly the words like Luis Alberto the player from Lazio was putting it yesterday on Twitter under under an article from Gazzetta dello Sport he was saying Hola amigos, hello my friends, si no sabéis traducir mejor no escribíais. What does that mean? If you can't translate, at least, or if you are not able to translate, please don't write, don't report. Really funny, really funny. Really funny. But guys, it can always be worse. Huh? It can always be worse. There is always worse. Look at the paper in UK, how they welcomed or maybe unwelcomed the 
Super League project with uh, <laughs> with Barcelona, with Real Madrid, and also Juventus. I have no idea why they are presenting Adrian Rabiot there because Adrian Rabiot will probably not be there next season. I don't understand it. Anyway, they have put three of the players from the three representative club as as if they are only the three bad clubs from the entire world. Well, they are against it. This is a uh, at least this is clear. Anyway, thank you for following the channel. I hope that that last image has put you a big smile because we will need a smile because we will have to wait until Sunday to see our beloved Juventus on the field and hopefully they are able to give us our even bigger smile with goals of Vlaovic with goals of Federico Chiesa against Fiorentina. Dai, grazie forza Juve.